Hello and welcome to Structural Analysis MCAD. The purpose of this short video is to give you an idea of some of the capabilities and benefits of using Structural Analysis MCAD for all of your simple plain frame analysis problems. This program uses the stiffness matrix method to perform the calculations. And while it's not limited on the number of members or how big the structure can be, we do recommend using it for structures with 10 to 20 node maximum for practicality purposes. This uh, program comes with four different types of uh, templates to help you create the structure you're analyzing. The first template is for continuous beams. All you have to do is insert the, the complete length of the beam and how many members you want and it'll automatically create the beam for you. At that point you can then modify the location of any node. You can change all the, any member that you want and you can create the exact structure that you're looking for. Also we have a rigid moment frame template. Here you can create a single bay, uh, bay moment resisting frame, you can create multiple bays, all you have to do is say the width of the bays, the height of the bays, and how many bays you want, and it'll create it for you. And then again at that point you can modify it for your exact needs. Uh, we also have a rigid gable frame, which is the, exactly the same as the normal moment frame except you, now you can specify the height of the gable and then you can modify the location of that as well. And lastly we have a user defined structure template. Here you can you specify how many members and how many nodes you want and then you create the member the, your, the structure that you're looking for. Uh, to give an example of how this works we've, uh, we have a simple example of a continuous beam. Here we have a three member beam that has a fixed support at the second node, uh, roller support at the third, and it has a, a linearly increasing load from 75 pounds at the second node to 200 pounds at the third, and a 500 pound concentrated load. See some of the results? Here's the shear diagram that you would see after analyzing the structure. You can see where the concentrated load made the jump in the shear diagram. Here you have the shear at every ten tenth point along the member and you have the maximum minimum shears, the shear before and after the concentrated load and the location of that. Same applies to the moment and axial diagrams. You can see how those all work. And lastly we have a nodal displacement graph. Here you can adjust the, the magnitude of the exaggeration of the nodal displacement by moving this bar to the left or right and then you have the exact location, the exact uh, amount of nodal displacement in these x and y vectors here. From this point you can take all that information and you can continue to do your your complete structural analysis and design all in MathCAD without having to jump back and forth from other uh, analyzing programs. We know this will be a great benefit to you and your company. We appreciate your time and have a great day.